name is Katherine Gray and I am doing this for Special Education 389. I read Somebody Else's Kids by Tori Hayden. Uh, this book is set in 1981, so it's a little older. Um, I did choose this book because last semester I read Skylar's Monster and that was from a parent point of view uh, that had a child with disabilities and I have a child with disabilities so I didn't really want that point of view and some of the others were on siblings point of view this is on a teacher's point of view and she has um, uh, six other books listed here I don't know if that's all she's written but this book is when she is no longer a special education teacher in a classroom of her own she is now a resource teacher for special education children she has several in the morning and one girl in the afternoon her, her name is Lori and Lori is mainstreamed with a primary teacher named Edna Edna is of the old school belief that um, she is just lazy and does not want to read or write but Lori was abused by her mother um, it didn't talk too much about her father and received a traumatic brain injury when she was young um, her twin sister did not suffer the same fate and was in a regular classroom and did not have the same issues that Lori did uh, due to her brain injury Lori would never learn to read or write and Edna did not believe in that she just believed that Lori did not want to do the work um, and what starts happening is the principal starts out with this one child his name is Booth and they call him Boo and he is an autistic child with several other issues uh, he doesn't speak and he can go from 0 to 120 in a matter of seconds <clears throat> and the first day there it's in the afternoon and she has Lori and he gets excited and strips all his clothes off and starts screaming and she has to chase him down and brings him back and um, that's uh, kind of the lead into the book and his behavior through out most of the book it does tame down with a lot of her patients um, so now she has this non-inclusive classroom as a resource room the next child is a very angry very violent child his name is Tommaso he'd been in several schools the police have been called several times and he was a problem child um, he comes in and he you hate me don't you kind of attitude and Tori is no and he destroys her classroom and um, she still does not hate him and kind of halfway through the book he's angry at her because she never did say that she hated him um, and then there is Claudia who is a 12 year old girl that was in a Catholic school and became pregnant and um, there are no resources or support for this girl back then and Tori tries to find some and is not able to and she spends one afternoon just making a bunch of phone calls only to end up with a friend of hers and they're talking about this and eventually Claudia, Claudia attempts suicide and she does get the help she needs and um, Boo goes on to a different school she is never really able to help him although eventually he does learn to say mama uh, and she does spend one more year with Lori and at the end you have to read the very end um, because there is a surprise about Tommaso and I guess what this book made me think about is that 
we can have all the rules and the laws and you know whatever telling us what we have to do um, but if we don't have it in our hearts to want to do what is the best thing for these kids um, those rules aren't going to make any difference we have to have common sense you know this was at a time when inclusion sort of was brand new and so everybody swaying the other way they took all these kids out and threw them in and expected things to change and that's not what happened um, you know so I guess we need to decide if we want to be the Edna's of this world and not want these kids in our classroom because I've seen some teachers nowadays that they don't want the extra work or those um, special ed kids in their classroom or we can be the Tory Haydens that you know kind of the heck with everybody and we're going to do what's the best thing for these kids. So it's a good book, and I suggest everybody read it. At least once I made my dad read it, and he liked it, and I gave it to a couple of other teachers, and they liked it. So I highly, highly recommend this book. Again, it's Somebody Else's Kids by Tori Hayden. Thanks.